indicators. I've got my setup here for testing electromagnets. I've got my battery with uh, some alligator clips attached to it. I've got uh, a magnetic core. Right now it's just a bolt. It's not a magnet. You can see I've got some uh, paper clips spread out here. So it's just a bolt. I've got a string of uh, a loop of wire we're going to test out to see. That's not magnetic right now. I've got a bolt with 20 uh, coils of wire around it. I've got one with 40 coils of wire around it. And I've got one that I've loaded up with 60 coils of wire around it. So we're going to test with our one battery here. Um, this is a volt and a half, I think is what it is. One and a half volts. Um, so we're going to test with our battery here, uh, with our alligator clips. Um, so we're going to start off with uh, just the bolt. We'll connect the alligator clips to just the bolt and see if it makes it into a magnet. And it is not, I think you can see that pretty well, it's not picking anything up. It snapped right off of there. It's a thick. Um, now I'm going to try it with just a coil of wire. Um, seeing if we can get those electrons moving from through in this little loop around, uh, get those electrons moving around in a way that we can turn them into a magnet. Um, so I've got an electric current flowing through the wire, but it is not turned into a magnet yet. Um, so we're going to see what happens when we hook up with uh, 20 coils of wire, so it's less coils than the, than the empty one here, but it, this one now has a metal core in it. What we call that, it's wrapped around the metal core, and I thought I was clipped on there. Sorry about that. So let's see what happens now. And, ooh, I got a couple of little paper clips there. Let's see if I can dig it in there a little bit and swirl it around. I get a few more paper clips. Looks like maybe, well, I got parts of paper clips here too that are broken paper clips. So a few things. With 20 coils of wire, I'm able to pick up a few and dis disconnect it and it turns off the magnet, which is one of the cool things about electromagnets. So 20 coils of wire was able to pick up a little bit. So we did create a magnetic force using electrons traveling through the wire, but getting them going around the core it's the domains in the core that get lined up. And that lining up of domains, remember, um, is what causes the magnetism. So now I've got 40 coils of wire. Let's see what happens this time. Hooked up to the battery. Definitely picking up more paper clips. So more coils. I believe that that is getting more of the domains inside that iron core. This one doesn't have any lined up because it's just, it's not a magnet. And the one in here isn't a magnet by itself either. It is only magnetized because the electrons going around and around and around are able to create a magnetic force and create uh, those domains lining up inside. Remember, I can prove that it's not. The core is not a magnet. When I disconnect the power and the electrons stop moving, the domains go back to the way that they were. So there's no more force field there. All right, so let's try the 60 coils of wire and see what happens with that. So I'm guess, I, I hope you're making a prediction that if, if zero coils didn't work, 20 worked a little bit, 40 worked a little better, 60 coils should work really well at being a magnet. So we're making our magnet stronger by getting more domains lined up, and we're getting more domains lined up by having more electricity going around and around in that uh, loop around the core. So this one does pick up almost all of my paper clips. Pretty many. A uh, good pile of paper clips. So using um, the electricity to create uh, an electromagnet. So the connection between magnetism and electricity is what we've been focused on today. Hey, fourth graders, as I'm getting set up with a, a new experiment with two batteries to test our electromagnet, I do want to remind you that I am not assigning any experiments for you to do. I'm demonstrating so that you don't have to do them. If you have uh, participation with an adult, someone supervising you, if you want to try these experiments, you have to have adult supervision and adult permission to do so. 
Uh, I am demonstrating so that you don't have to do that them at home. Another way we can make our magnet stronger might be to increase the amount of electricity traveling through that wire. So we already know that, well, we can try it again. Let's see if it works. I said we already know, but we don't know until we try. That's part of science is you try things out. Um, so we're going to see if more electricity can make just the coil into a magnet, and it does not. Just the wire all coiled up as if it was as it is on the others, but without the core in there, doesn't make it into a magnet because there's no domains to get lined up. Make sure my electricity is going on to the end of the wire where I've pulled off the rubber uh, coating so that I know the electrons can travel through that wire. This one is, has 20 coils on it, and maybe it picks up a little bit more with an extra, well, maybe not, with a little extra battery power. Maybe a little bit more than the last time around. Oh, I hooked that one right on the wire. That doesn't count as magnetism. All right, so let's try the 40 coil, which is right over here. Um, and it is tough to get wiggly things on there. So, and, oh, it's already picking up some things. So with 40 uh, coils of wire, and two batteries. So we have, a, this is similar to the last time, but this time we have more voltage or more electricity going through the wire. And I believe that is picking up more than it did last time when I had 40 coils. So it seems that more coils of wire um, make a stronger magnet. But also what we're discovering right now is that more voltage, which is a measure of how much electricity is going through there, more voltage so instead of one battery, this time I've got two batteries adding power through making that um, rotation of the electrons around that core, making it move around. And with two batteries, I do almost get all of them off of the paper here. So another way to make a magnet stronger, electromagnet stronger, is to, one way is use more coils. Another way is to get more electric charge there. I hope you enjoyed watching today uh, as we explore electromagnets, that connection between magnetism and electricity. We can use the electricity to make a magnet called an electromagnet.